Дети. Вау, что с эхом. Классно. Сегодня мы будем немножко по-другому проводить наш урок. Я бы хотел вас всех пригласить сюда поближе. Даже так, давайте представим, что мы, можно сказать, так на улице. Я бы хотел, чтобы дети просто вот здесь осели. Я вот тут присяду, а детишки впереди сядут. У нас будет сегодня более такая дружеская атмосфера. We're gonna, we're gonna get uh, free about this, because this is lessons for you, and you guys will uh, hopefully enjoy it. Don't worry, if you're a little older than these kids, don't, it's okay, you can come here as well. Nobody's gonna say anything. All right, um, how many of you remember the last time I was here and the last time I, sp I gave you guys a lesson? Okay, uh, do you remember what we were talking about? You don't, all right, that's okay, because uh, it's been a while, it's been a couple of months, uh, we'll, we'll quickly make uh, a preview of what we were talking about. We we're talking about the armor of God, right? The armor of God that every Christian, every believer, believer has. And this armor is what protects your soul. It doesn't protect your body, but it's for your soul, right? So we got the shield, the, um, the helmet, the shoes, the belt, all these things that make up this armor of God. And this is something that we need to receive from God. It's not something that we can make ourselves or have one of your buddies give it to you, right? It is something that you have to receive from God. And at the same time, we need this to stand up against the evil, against the evil that is in the world, the devil that is in the world. You know, you, you, we have no strength to be against somebody so powerful, only with God's help. Now, do you guys remember what's the first thing that we talk about? Because this is going to be a six, six lessons uh, series. And what's the first thing that we're talking about today? Does anybody remember from the back, some of the older people maybe? Oh, older kids, I should say. I think I heard it somewhere over here. The belt of truth. The first thing we're going to talk about is the belt of truth. And the belt of truth is the first thing that's on the list. When Paul writes about this armor of God, he mentions the belt of truth. And what's interesting is he doesn't mention the sword. Right, guys? He doesn't mention the sword that you can swing around and do things, or he doesn't mention the shield as the first thing that you can defend yourself with, right? He mentions the belt of truth. And it's very important why it's the belt of truth. Now, do you guys know there's one thing that will make your parents very, very joyful? You know what that thing is? I'll give you a hint. It is written in the Bible. In the book of John, the th third John, chapter 1, it says... I have no greater joy than this to hear of my children walking in the truth. Your parents would be more than happy. It would give them such a great joy to know that you're all walking in the truth. Now, we have a question, right? What is the truth? What is the belt of truth, right? This is a very important question. A lot of people ask this question. And it is a good question. It is a very difficult and good question to start off with, right? Um, вам нормально видно, да? Окей, okay, света хватает. And we'll, we'll take it right to the Bible. The answer is right in the Bible. Um, here, Jesus is talking to his disciples. He's telling them that he's going to go into the heaven to prepare a way for them, to prepare a room for them. And one of the disciples is saying, Jesus, where are you going? You know, Jesus says, you know where I'm going. You know the way. But... Thomas is the guy who's asking him, Jesus, I don't know the way. Where are you going? To which Jesus says to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So Jesus says, I am the truth. That brings us to another question. What does Jesus mean when he says, I am the truth? Right? It doesn't really say much. And it's good to ask questions. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, if, if, if you're in school and the teacher is telling you something, right, and you don't understand it, are you going to just sit? Or are you going to ask the question, like, okay, I don't understand. I need to know. Can you please explain more? All right, so when, we, when Jesus says, I am the truth, what does that mean? We're going straight to the same book, the book of John. In chapter 8, it says, Jesus was saying to, the, to those Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, I don't know if you can see that. 
Yeah. If you continue in my word, then you are truly of mine, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Okay, so now we know that Jesus is the truth, and the truth he's talking about is his word, right? And the same, by the same book, the book of John, starts with the words, in the beginning there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So now we know that the word of God, the Bible, is the truth. It holds the truth, and that's where we go for the answers, right? But then we're also going to ask a question, you know, well, it says the sword of the spirit is the word of God. That doesn't make sense, right? Because the sword, the, the sword of the spirit is on the same list of the armor of God. So how, how is the, the word of God the truth? Well, that's a good question. It's not the question that we come upon. Now, if anybody's writing these things down, I want you guys to write these three things that define the belt of truth. And if you guys don't have your notebooks, come up to your parents and be like, listen, there's some interesting stuff that they talk about in the church. I need to write this down. Please get me a notebook, a pen, so I can write these things down and remember and go over them. Don't be shy. Your parents will get you a notebook and a pen. So the very first thing that defines the belt of truth is the understanding of the truth. Now, in order to understand, do you guys remember the story of Ethiopian and uh, Philip? When Ethiopian was riding in the chariot, he was reading the word of God, and then Philip asks him, do you understand what you're reading? And he says, no, I don't. Would you explain it? So that's the thing. We need to understand the truth. If you don't understand the truth, it doesn't do you any good, right? Right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to understand the truth, and you, you want to come to the people that know the truth, which I'll start with your parents. They probably know. I assume they do. The second thing you want to know is you have to realize the truth, right? You have to realize that there is God and there is the devil. There is heaven and there is hell. You have to realize that we're all going to die eventually. Every single person eventually, sooner or later, he's going to come to his point where he has to die. But the soul also always remains. The soul will always be there. And your soul has two ways to go, heaven or hell. You have to realize that. You have to realize that. We are up against a very powerful being, the devil. But you also have to realize that God has already beat him on the cross. The sin has been won. It's just we are now part of the battle because the battle is now for the souls. But the war is already won. It's just we have to put on the belt of truth so we can continue. And the third thing is you have to remain. Remain in the truth. And that is very important. A lot of people will put on this belt and a couple of years down the road, they forget about the truth. They get carried away by the world and that kind of leads them astray. But remaining in the truth, and that brings us back to the same verse that we started off that brings a lot of joy to your parents, is when you continue walking in the truth. Right? So those are the three things. Um, without the truth of belt, we have the rest of that armor, right? The, the breastplate, and the, the shoes, shield, the sword, the helmet. If you don't have the truth about that, then the rest of it is not going to do you any good. If you don't know the truth about the, the, the spear, the sword of the spirit, the word of God, can you use it? If you don't know the truth about the breastplate of righteousness, does it do you any good? If you don't know how to ride your bicycle, does it do you any good? If you don't know which grandma has the candies, does it do you any good? <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you don't know the truth about a certain thing, it doesn't do you any good. You have to know the truth. And that's very important. This is why Paul starts with the truth of Bel. Because that's the main factor that brings the rest of the armor together. And with that being said, our next topic is going to be the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. We're going to talk about what is it? Where do we obtain it? How do we obtain it? How does it help us? You know, we're going to ask all these questions. And guys, like I said before, have your parents get you a notebook. You're going to need it. How many of you know how to write? Okay, we got some. That's good. Because, I mean, I, I was at one point when I didn't know how to write, and then you learn. Uh, but if you can write, get yourself a notebook because that's going to help you a lot. Now, we're going to 
start praying with these lessons. So what I want to do is I want to gather you guys for a prayer. And if any of you want to pray, if anybody in the back wants to pray, feel free. All right, because prayer is a powerful thing, and I believe that prayer can do stuff that we can't. You know, because when we talk to the God, we're asking him to do things, and he's the one who can do all things. All right, so let's pray. If anybody wishes to pray, go for it. <laughs>